Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from domesticatedme.com and today I'm here with my top five home decor favorites. These are my current favorites, things that I've absolutely fallen in love with and I love them so much that I wanna share them with you. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is a product that was gifted to me by Yellow Pop and that is this neon sign right there, right behind me. It says on air, which I thought was perfect for my YouTube studio. Yellow Pop offers several fun different designs, everything from inspirational phrases to to cartoons and emoticons and really cute little shapes like hearts and unicorns. So I just love that no matter what you're looking for, you can find it at Yellow Pop. And they've even partnered with a special collection with Jonathan Adler. Amazing. I love Jonathan Adler. I think he is a home decor icon. And if he's partnering with Yellow Pop, you know that these products are good. I also love that they can fit a number of different rooms in your home. You can use them. I mean, this one is perfect for me because I film here, so it's fun for someone who is a creator, has a podcast or anything like that, or just a TV room. I think that would be cool. But you could also find things that you can put in your nursery or your kid's room, an office, a TV room. You can fit anywhere. And I just love that they're also really cool, but also functional because they serve as another source of light. These signs are light lightweight and super easy to install. You can hang them or nail them to the wall or you just use command strips, which is what I did here. And did I mention that all of their neon signs come with a different variety of colors so you can actually choose whether you want a blue neon sign, yellow, etc. in all of their designs. So go to the description box below and check out their website so you can see for yourself what amazing neon signs they have. And if you put in an order, use my code to get 10% off. Do not sleep on this offer. The next items I purchased off of Etsy and they are Mickey Mouse hooks for your ears. These are so lightweight, super cute. You can attach them to a wall with just command strips because they're very lightweight and all they're gonna do is hold your Minnie Mouse headbands. We have started a collection. We have, I think currently about 19 or 20 so far and we've accumulated so much that our headband holder just doesn't hold all of them. And after talking with my daughter, we decided that it would be really fun to actually display them on the wall and have that be part of the room decor. All of her Mickey and uh, Minnie Mouse ears that we've purchased over the last few Few years so that is why we went on to Etsy and found these again super lightweight and all you have to do is attach a little command strip to the back of these and then attach them to the wall and it'll hold your Minnie Mouse bands the company also has a different version of these hooks that are meant to hold your lounge fly backpacks I, I think we have three in our collection so far and it's just a really nice way to display these little fun pieces and you'll always remember where you bought them on what trip to Disney you uh, bought them. So I just think it's a really good way to save space because you no longer have to use tabletops or dressers to um, you know, hold your headbands. Now they can just go on the wall and that clears up space. So it's organizational, it's functional, it's uh, just a really fun idea for a room decoration for kids. So there you go. The next item that I've purchased for my home that I'm really loving are my gold wall shelves. I love these shelves and anytime that I put them in my Instagram pictures or they're in the background, I always get asked about them. So I'm glad to include them in this video. Of course I'm including them in this video because it's one of my, like every, like every time that it's in the background, I without fail, I get asked for it. So they're beautiful, they're sturdy, they're wonderful way to display products. Um, I am a big fashion lover, you guys know that, so I'm displaying some of my favorite shoes and some of my favorite handbags on there, but you can use that for photos, for any kind of wall decor that you want, organizational to hold any things that you want off your tabletop. They're just beautiful, really well made, really great products, quality, quality shelves, and yeah, they're beautiful and a great way to add some decor and function in your room. My next favorite is something that I've talked about over the years many, many times, and that is upcycled furniture. You guys know that I've always been a big fan of getting old furniture and sanding it down and repainting them and giving them new life, especially because a lot of older furniture are really high quality pieces, sturdy pieces that last years and years. My main goal when I buy furniture isn't cheap, it's quality now. 
And so, especially for bedrooms, for something that I want to hold on to for several years. So that is why I love looking at older pieces because the quality is there. It can also be very affordable if you go to an antique shop or a yard sale or a garage sale or something like that. Um, vintage stores that sell furniture. You can find pieces that are really high quality but also super affordable because they're old. And then you just have to fix them up yourself. And I think they're fun DIY projects. They're worth it. Um, and that is what I've done several times in my home. I'm currently in the process of updating my bedroom and I needed a dresser and I went online and I had a vision. I'm looking for like French shabby chic kind of a theme in my bedroom. And when I'm looking for furniture that looks like that, if I buy them new, they are you know, several hundred dollars and I know the quality is not gonna be there. It's gonna be like particle board, it's gonna be, cheap and for me just not what I want and so thankfully I had a neighbor put on this dresser for sale and I purchased it for just $50 which is less than these cheap versions that you find online uh, right now and I just repainted it and I'm in love with it and I again you just give it a little love give it a fresh coat of paint maybe change out the knobs um, maybe add some fun by putting a print on it or paint a print on it there's all these different kind of ways that you can DIY something and breathe life into these old beautiful high quality per, uh, furniture so that is one of my absolute favorites of all time is a good quality old piece that you can upcycle but especially my top five for this video the next item isn't new it's been around for a while you've probably seen it but i use it i've used it so much throughout the years that of course i'm going to include it in my very first home decor favorites video and that is this faux fur little rug i purchased this now i want to say almost four years ago yeah, about three or four years ago because I used to lay my baby on it. Um, I wanted a little soft, cushiony space whenever she did tummy time or anything like that when we were lying on the floor. And so that is the reason I purchased this. I used to put Clara on her back and then have her play with her little uh, mobile, her little toys on it. And, um, and ever since that, I've been using it not just for that, but for everything. I take photos on this. I throw it on a chair or I'll throw it on an ottoman or I'll throw it on the bed. And it's just a really cute little decor piece. It adds texture to your room, texture, print, color. Those are all things that you want to keep in mind and you can have fun with when you're thinking about room decor, home decor. And I just I just love this and I use it all the time. You've seen it in my photos, whether I'm displaying clothing or shoes, a handbag, um, or my girls have laid on this and I've taken photos of them on this. And, and just to have around in the room, I use it so much that, of course, this is something that I highly recommend. It's just, if this is your aesthetic, if this is your style, they're really fun and, and useful for all kinds of things so definitely definitely love this piece all right and that is everything in my top five home decor favorites I hope that you enjoyed this video please let me know what's in your top five favorite let me know what you're loving in your home right now or what you've loved throughout the years that you want to recommend please let me know also please let me know in the in the comment section what you'd like to see in the future for me to focus on when it comes to home contact decor a DIY project let me know Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already and click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can set on your notifications for all. That way you'll be notified whenever my videos go out and I make new videos every single week and I cover everything from home decor to fashion to beauty, DIY projects, you name it, I cover it all. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay tuned.